Call 6 Investigates is looking into complaints about a popular dating site. The feds say you could be making a date with deception. The Federal Trade Commission filed suit this week against the owners of Match.com. Call 6 Investigates, Kara Kenny is looking into how this could impact you. Many people look for love online, and it's easy to get roped in when you think someone is interested in you. But according to this lawsuit filed this week by the Federal Trade Commission, they say the company used misleading tactics to try to get consumers to sign up. The feds say it was alerts like this one that drew in consumers looking for everlasting love. You caught his eye and now he's expressed interest in you. Could he be the one? To read the message, consumers had to purchase a subscription. But the government says many of the messages came from millions of fraudulent accounts. The FTC says consumers signed up because of these deceptive ads, hoping to meet the one. Instead, they found a scammer on the other end. The lawsuit filed September 25th in Texas targets Match, but not the company's other brands like Tinder and Plenty of Fish. It alleges when Match made it difficult and confusing for daters to cancel, the FTC called it illegal billing practices. Match released a statement disputing the allegations, saying the feds are making completely meritless allegations supported by consciously misleading figures. Fraud isn't good for business. That's why we fight it. The company says they catch and neutralize 85% of potentially improper accounts in the first four hours and 96% of fraudulent accounts within a day. If you've ever been a Match.com customer and you're wondering, what could I get out of this? According to the lawsuit, they're seeking restitution and refunds for consumers. But of course, it's way too soon to tell if that will happen. Kara Kenny, RTV6. Kara, thanks. The Match also says the Federal Trade Commission has misrepresented internal emails and relied on cherry-picked data to make outrageous claims. They intend to vigorously defend themselves in court.